everybody. Will here, Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin. Uh, we are uh, doing three beers and a whiskey fest, virtual fest. Tonight is the uh, the debut, our our, um, our launch of three beers and a whiskey fest. Uh, our, our way of trying to give back to the musicians and the community here in Austin. We've had some of these great bands come on to uh, our our stage here at our house at the studio, um, do interviews with them, and then turn around and we've uh, had them perform and captured these live stream performances. Um, and now we're able to go back and bring this to you guys uh, as kind of a festival um, where we got different people that um, that are hey got some let's see who we got hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Joe James, how are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. Look, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick some video rolling here right about now. Let's see how this looks. And, man, I think this looks good. So, uh, appreciate you giving me a call in. Uh, I'm very excited to do the uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey Virtual Fest. I'm trying to just keep people out there entertained that's locked down in their homes and, um, and, you know, try to do my best to help promote you guys. Um, so, uh, so, you know, one of the things that we discussed was trying to figure out who's going to lead off the event, how do we set this up, and, you know, after much discussion with everybody, you know, Joe James came up as, as like, hey, man, let's get this guy to lead off the event. So, you know, we're, 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 we're running, we're hot right now and live, and I appreciate you calling in. What have you been yeah, up to? Thank you, Will. Thank you for, for having me uh, for having me be a part of this. This is cool, man. Yeah, well, we'll you know, hopefully it'll do well and maybe raise at least, I don't want to say awareness, but maybe get you guys some money. Right now I got the Venmo for Joe James Music uh, up oh, on the cool, screen. Man. And, uh, you know, here's got the little Joe James CD number one in my hand. And then we've also got uh, Joe James second disc right here. Midnight yeah, Dealin. and those are those are vintage now. <laughs> so, just saying, <laughs> vintage. Um, so I got I got a question for you. I've got six copies of the first disc, six copies of Midnight Dealin. Um, yeah. I want to do something to give these away to folks out there that are going to be watching this tonight. Um, uh, giveaways a pair, you know. So I basically got six people that we can give a pair of CDs to. Uh, got any ideas uh, how we could go about that, or what would what would uh, make for some kind of yeah. at least interesting giveaway to earn two CDs from Joe James? Um, yeah, let's see. Um, thinking, putting on my thinking cap. My <laughs> thinking cap. Put you on the spot. Uh, let's see if anyone knows the the, the first track off of the, that first EP. Oh, so first person to chime in with uh, uh, the name of the first track from your first CD will give them the pair of discs. Yes, sir. What's All another right. one? Let's see. Let's come up with something good. Um, it is three beers and a whiskey, so I'm drinking three a beer. Three whiskeys. Like three of three whiskey brands. Oh, name three whiskey brands? Right. Okay. How about that one? All right. I like that. I like that. Um, let's see. What if we get uh, somebody out there or a couple of folks to uh, – this, see, this is going to be a tough one. Let's get somebody to subscribe to the Three Beers and a Whiskey YouTube page and leave a comment. And then jump over to the Joe James YouTube page, subscribe, and leave a comment. You told me to do this while I was watching Three Beers and a Whiskey Fest. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna I'm inviting some people. Yeah. Start some parties. So what uh what have, what do you got going on, sir? In in this times, I you just uh we're a week in on the new disc you uh, uh or new single you launched. Yeah, right. Well, I just released the new single called Love Right Now. Which yep. You can find on on all download and streaming platforms and it's a song that's super fitting to what's going on uh or it's super fitting for today i mean just to you know we're we're missing out on that that physical touch that we're all so used to yeah and we're all you know longing for for that 
that love and some of us may be feeling extremely lonely during this time. So, I mean, I know we can't physically touch one another, but, you know, this is the time to pick up a phone and FaceTime and, and, and show that love right now. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good deal. And how's the song tracking? Oh man. Uh, shoot. The f- first three days it was in, uh, top 10 on the blues top 100 in Apple and um, Apple Music and iTunes charts. So I was really, really excited about that, man. Nice. Very nice. Um, And I'm going to, real quick, there's like a 12-second delay between uh, me and you chatting and it showing up on Facebook. Um, And since we're doing this fantastic interview with technology as you're on my phone, on speakerphone, I'm going to make sure if anybody out there, if y'all – Give me a little heads up that y'all can hear Joe James as he's chatting and everything's good. So I'm getting a thumbs up from inside of the house, so that's good. Um, so what's what's on deck for you now that you've got this new single, Love Right Now? So um, we're basically, we're going to be pushing towards releasing a new EP in June. It's going to be releasing June 19th, and we have a second single coming out um, May 15th, so... We're just kind of, you know, just pushing and marketing until we get to that point. But this whole thing is about just spreading, uh, basically, to honor my my wife and uh, it's songs for her and how she's inspired me and the times we we went through. We've been together for about fourteen years. Wow! And so, right. congratulations, sir. Yeah, that's that's thanks, it. man. And she's been a rock and everything. So I decided to dedicate this to her. And she went through a rough time with her disease, ulcerative colitis. Right. Um, in September, so I wrote some songs uh, that I reflected on our on our relationship and the time we were going through at that time, and in the the defeat and triumph of it all. Of it all. So the um, these songs basically are, are about that, but also bringing awareness to Crohn's and colitis, but also bringing togetherness and just to let people know that you know we're we're in this together. This you know we should be helping each other out, showing each other love and taking that time to, you know, um, show some kindness to a stranger or somebody, you know, or someone you love and make sure you, you take that time to, to be a good person and enjoy every ounce of life that you can, um, because life's too short. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's a, it's a great project, man. I poured my complete heart and soul into it and I worked with a lot of great people to, uh, bring it to uh, bring it forth, and had a lot of help from support supporters and fans, and to, so it's a special one, man. I think this one is going to be hard to top for me <laughs> next time around. Well, like, well, you say that, but you know, if if your wife is a part of a source of inspiration and the world right. around you, you know, things are always changing, coming up. So you know, yeah, yeah, you may not exactly. be able to make it more special than this one is, but. You know, right. you may be able to top it in a different way. Yeah, I, I, I have faith in, in you. Way. Sure, exactly. This this one, I'm just excited for everyone. I was so excited that, that Love Right Now was, was accepted the way it was because I'll tell you, Will, like, it's releasing things like this, especially this, this new music, it's so extremely personal and I'm being so extremely vulnerable mm-hmm. that it's hard to – to re- release it into the world <laughs> because of how close it is. Yeah. And so everyone reacting to it the way they did and in the press it's getting and hearing people tell me how it, you know, this, this is helping them get through or yeah. whatever. Like, I'm like, this is cool. Like, this is what music is about. This is what this platform is for. Yep. You know? Hey, uh, it looks like, we're getting ready to roll into your actual live stream performance. Uh, yeah, I, I probably got about a minute left. Um, so just a, sh- a shout out to you and, and the folks that are watching and some people that are catch us on the, the back end of it. Uh, Joe James, one of our local awesome Austin musicians, a little blues, right? Yes, sir. Like blues soul. Blues soul yeah. inspired by the Beatles, driven by the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and the performance you guys are about to see from Joe James here that's about to roll o- onto the screen um, was recorded live here uh, for a live stream at Three Beers and a Whiskey and uh, it was just Joe and his guitar and the camera and uh, it's a stellar 
stellar performance. Not to take anything else away from you, Dunn, because I know you're doing the live streams yourself uh, on your own page. Yeah. But, uh, you know, hopefully you guys out there are going to enjoy this. Uh, I'm still kind of waiting for it to roll over here, uh, watching my timer. Uh, anything you want to wrap up with there before I let you head out and uh, enjoy the rest of yeah. your evening with your wife? Yeah, heck yeah, man. Uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys. First, you support us local musicians like none other, and I'm, I'm grateful for you guys. Um, but I want to say, yeah, go download the new and stream the new single, Love Right Now, um, and just play the hell out of it. Let's get it back into that top ten because it's not there anymore, so we got to get it back Y'all hear that? Um, but yeah, stream and download the new single, Love Right Now. All right, man. Joe, thank you very much for uh, taking a few minutes to call in and uh, chat with me on the phone. And, uh, you know, if you're not doing anything, you might want to see uh, see yourself here on your own live stream performance oh, from uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon, sir, hanging out and uh, shaking hands and hugging and, and catching yeah. a, a live show from you again. Absolutely, man. Well, thank you, guys. Sure. All right. Hey, man, and if uh, if you've got any other ideas for a couple of these other CD packs, drop it in the comments over here, and uh, we'll we'll follow up afterwards and see who's going to actually take home some of these CDs. Heck yeah, man. I'll, I'll figure out something. I'll All right. I'll try to be clever. All right, Joe. Have a great day, sir. You too, Will.
the middle of the set or whatever. But the crazy ass thing is, I'm standing there, you're doing this, and little, uh, sorry for y'all, but everybody in the house was like this. I think we got two more songs. <laughs> <laughs> We got water to no uh, wash that down. No, no car! No car. No car. Uh, I'll let you do your thing. I just wanted to be tell everybody out there that in the house it was stunned silence at how badass that was. Yeah, yeah that song I, I wrote years back when I was living in, in Los Angeles. And did you write that one on your staircase over there too? I did not. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have a staircase. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was. I'm a huge horror movie fan. Yes! Was, yeah, good, yeah. I'm glad there's, there's one of us. <laughs> uh, but I was watching uh, Halloween. In like wait, wait, which one? The original. Which okay, is, thank you, yeah. sir. And so I was, that, that melody was going through my head. It was weird. Really? Like the, you know, that half the melody as I was, I was watching this, like, you know, <laughs> sad, like stabbing somebody. But I ended up, you know, kind of like... You were writing that song around, around that Haddonfield. Well, there you yeah. go, from Haddonfield, Illinois. <laughs> yeah, where Mike Myers is, you know, wow. terrorized everybody. So that's the that's the song. It's yeah. beautiful, but it's also very strange. Right. This next song is off of uh, my new EP. This one is called Black in My Heart.
You said there's a Dave Shear song that uh, is going to appear coming up, or is on No, yeah, this uh, Dave Shear song is on, on my new EP. You can find on, on mm-hmm. iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Amazon. Well, okay, it's yeah. not the Dave Shear, it's just a song that Dave Shear yeah. appears but, but, on. Yeah, it's definitely the Dave Shear song. Dude, yeah, yeah. He, he, he kills it on it. But it's a, a song called Gypsy Soul. Which I don't know if I can prove I'll do it. Alright, uh, there we go, that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Poke, 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 poke. Do it. <laughs> this one is called Gypsy Soul. I'm not sure if I can do the whole song because it's a it's a full band song, but I'm gonna I'm gonna it's a you know what acoustic beat. strip down is uh that that I think this that must be the first time here. that I played this song acoustically. Sorry, right, here we go. Oh. This Three beers is, and a whiskey. Three beers and a whiskey. Woo! 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 Just so it goes like this.
this next song I'm gonna play, I wrote year, like years back. Um, Riverside and Riverside, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, stairs. I used to be 300 I'm pounds, stairs. by the way. <laughs> I I battled obesity all throughout my, my teens and my early adulthood. And, and 300 pounds, I ended up losing weight. Um, and Long I battled way. with with eating disorder as well, and I couldn't find the self love. I finally found it, and for this song I wrote. In the middle of that, that dark, dark time, this song is called Too Far Gone. It goes like All this. right. All right, folks, that was uh, our live stream performance uh, that we had with Joe James here at uh, Tom Cruise Studios, Three Beers and a Whiskey. Um, so appreciate y'all hanging out and enjoying some of uh, his uh, his performance. Uh, don't forget, uh, you know, if, if what you hear inspires you, you want to try to help out, you can go over to his Venmo, his PayPal, you can go to his uh, Facebook page. Uh, coming up next, you see right now on the screen, we've got the Venmo for Dimitris Hernandez. Uh, the PayPal is going to roll around here or cash app in a second. It's actually uh, A.D. Hernandez we're going to have uh, as part of the ADH project, uh, the brainchild, the founder of the ADH project, uh, A.D. Hernandez. Uh, and it's also going to have um, Curtis Lee on vocals and sitting in as guest guitar and filling in the harmonies and doing an amazing job is going to be Jacob Gonzalez. Uh, I think... 
I might get lucky and have AD give me a call here. Uh, hopefully he does jump in. But uh, anyway, thank y'all very much for uh, uh, tuning in and watching this, uh, making three beers and a whiskey virtual fest kind of a reality and enjoying it. And uh, you know what these guys put their heart and soul into, and this is what we do to try to give back to them is is celebrate them and their music. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, uh, here in a few minutes we're gonna have uh, '80s. Uh, live stream video with uh, the three of them, AD, Curtis, and Jacob, roll up here on the screen. Um, you know, Joe James is definitely uh, kind enough to uh, give us some CDs to give away. So uh, we've got uh, six pairs of CDs. His first CD and then his second disc, uh, Midnight Deal, and we've got those. We've got a couple of extras to throw in there. So, uh, you know, uh, I think one of the things Joe was wanting to know is if somebody could name the first song off of the first EP, and, uh, and then somebody, you know, other folks, if you go in and subscribe to his YouTube channel, leave a comment about Three Beers and Whiskey Fest, and then go to my YouTube channel over at Three Beers and Whiskey, and leave a subscribe and leave a comment for Three Beers and Whiskey Fest, and uh, we'll go through and figure out who we've got there and send out some discs to, or hand deliver them after this is over, uh, to everybody. But uh, anyway, um, you know, again, I appreciate this. Uh, it's tough, tough stuff going on for everybody. And, um, you know, we're all having to kind of hunker down in our homes. And, uh, you know, we have had the pleasure of having a lot of these guys come sit down with us and drink some beer and do some interviews and then perform some music on their on our live stream. And, uh, you know, with everybody doing the live stream now, we kind of looked back and said, man, let's just go ahead and take some of the best bits of all these performances and compile them together in a little mini festival and, and share it with you guys. So that's what we've got going on here today. Uh, got a couple of more minutes before the uh, ADH acoustic set rolls up onto the screen. So, and I'm still working on, I don't know, that, that first beer might be, uh, you know, falling by the wayside here in a second, I think. to check this out. Yeah, man, that thing's almost toast. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But, um, you know, besides the Joe James, we do have some three beers and a whiskey stickers that uh, my wife's cousin, Victor Santana, was uh, uh, kind enough to print for us and give us the banner you see behind me. Um, if you can see up on the TV, we've got, uh, like, the promo poster for Three Beers and Whiskey Virtual Fest. Uh, we're actually thinking about printing out some of those uh, to have to, to, you know, for some folks if they're interested. But um, uh, let me get over here. Sorry. Working the computer, man. This is not my thing. I'm used to sitting over here in a chair and drinking beer and talking with artists. And I don't mind looking at the camera and I don't mind talking, but trying to work the computer at the same time. This is some weird, awkward stuff. Uh, usually my director does that. This Rudy, he's out there watching uh, somewhere in the internet. I see uh, Al Dorte just joined. Patrick Davis is on here with us. So um, I feel good and special. Got some rock stars hanging out with us, some, some high-profile personalities uh, tuning in. Thank you very much. Patrick Davis uh, gave us a big shout-out uh, last night on 512 Radio. Uh, I, I Humbled beyond all to, to hear him talk about our show and, and this little thing that we're doing to try to uh, at least keep y'all entertained and um, uh, maybe maybe get some money in these guys' pockets since they're not doing anything. Well, the Cash App just rolled up. That's the uh, the Cash App if you wanted to donate for uh, ADH. That's the Cash App, uh, his, his uh, um, account. You know, so the Venmo and then the Cash App. Uh, got a couple of more minutes here, and then uh, the actual uh, performance, the acoustic performance for ADH is going to roll up. Um, <laughs> I love, they ain't knighted, I'm talking to Patrick Davis, talk about narrow casting, uh, they ain't knighted you yet, but uh, you, you're, still a, you're still royalty to us, so a multimedia mogul, royalty to us, sir, um, so... Uh, you know, I, I appreciate the uh, the opportunities that I've had in hanging out with a lot of these guys and meeting them in the Austin music scene and 
and over the years kind of growing that love for the awesome music scene and these musicians and turning it into something where uh, we can give back by having them here in our house and getting them drunk, feeding them, and then letting them loose on the instruments and turn, you know, turn it on a live stream and see what happens. Um, and in fact, this performance coming up, the acoustic performance from ADH, uh, I think is pretty darn good idea of, of the chaos that turns into a, a Three Beers and a Whiskey live stream show um, when, when you see these guys and what's happening with it. Super fun. Everybody's laughing and having a good time. I, I can't imagine you're not going to smile and you're not going to laugh when you're listening to ADH. Um, but uh, we definitely look forward to coming back as soon as we are able to. Don't really have any shows booked right now, but you know I'm going to take it for granted, which I shouldn't, that uh, when things are let up and we can start mingling together and getting close to each other, that, uh, that I probably won't have too difficult of a time throwing out there and asking people to come in and sit down with us. But definitely looking forward to that time to uh, getting the interviews rolling again and getting our, our bi-weekly live stream happening. Um, you know, uh, so anyway, again, appreciate all you guys out there. Let me see what else is going on here on, on the Book of Faces. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, Al. It's, uh, it's going to be about, if you hang out for uh, 80s performance and, and hang out, enjoy that. Uh, the performance that's coming up after that is Castaneda. Again, there's another thing. It just, it, it we even had to put a disclaimer on the live stream performance for Castaneda because we're like, oh my goodness, it was it was so crazy. Um, but y'all see what I'm talking about here in a few minutes. The ADH acoustic performance that's about to roll up on here, um, I think it's about 20, 24 minutes. Uh, you know, it might just be one song and it's just 24 minutes long. I'm I'm kidding. It, it's actually I believe he's done three songs, but the performance from these guys is amazing. Their harmonies, uh, you guys love it. Look up ADH Project on uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, it, just anywhere, and then you get a chance. Uh, make sure you uh, get out there and check all these folks out on their live streams now. Go like them on their pages and follow them. So when they do a live stream from their home. You can go in and watch that and appreciate that. Uh, put it on your big T. Mike Tovar, a friend of mine, he's sitting, I don't know where he's at, but he's got this giant TV up, and he's he's got my ugly face on his TV watching this in big screen. Um, that's okay. I'm about to dip out of here in a second, and uh, y'all are going to enjoy this performance from ADH. Again, uh, I know I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit, but thank y'all very much. We appreciate uh the love that we've gotten from the musicians coming in and sitting down with us. And, uh, and this is one of the just little things we can do to try to both keep y'all entertained out there while you're having to sit in your houses. And you know, if you like what you hear, please, please give a little something to these guys. Go to their Cash App, go to their Venmo, go to their PayPal, look them on Facebook, follow them, buy merchandise, um, you know, anything to uh, really help these guys out. Uh, looks like I have just another moment or two, and uh, this ADH acoustic should be rolling up on us. Um, but somebody's barbecuing out back. I'm like, hey. All right, here comes this ADH performance. I'm going to dip out of here and let you guys enjoy this. We're ready to cover. We'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, he don't remember none of my song. Catalog, Curtis Lee music. It's called Spark. 
The last one burned too fast and she split out of nowhere a flick of stars and it's all because of a little spark and it only ever only takes a spark hey it is burning burning deep within my heart <laughs> oh, no. Let's do another heat. We'll do, we'll I'm do, missing the heat. We'll do, oh, oh, come on, let's do. Uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> 
I'll do one. I'll do one in a minute. I want to do some. In a minute, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do a really quick one. It's like 30 seconds long. <laughs> uh, early or late? What do you want to do? Rescue. I'm gonna follow you. Rescue. The songs he doesn't remember. remember. <laughs>
missing out. money can't buy.
All right, everybody. So, uh, hey, man, I don't know if y'all can y'all hear me. Ooh, this. Oh, yeah, you can hear me. All right. Look, I told y'all, man, if y'all saw that whole performance with with Ad Hernandez doing the ADH acoustic, that was crazy amazing. You know, and the thing is, you watch that and you can't help but smile the whole time. You know, when you're seeing. Those guys have that much fun doing that, and then they're that badass at it. Man. So, uh, anyway, thank you for watching that. We got the next band coming up here in, uh, I don't know, momentarily, probably in a, a few minutes. We're going to have uh, Castaneda. Uh, they'll be uh, ending or, or topping the night headliner for Three Beers and a Whiskey Virtual Fest, day one. We're going to have Castaneda coming up here. So, y'all folks that have been hanging out and watching, and I see a lot of Castaneda fans that are just, like, filtering in. Um, if y'all were uh, hanging out waiting for this big moment, call your friends, call your family, and, um, and let them know, hey, man, Chris Castaneda, their, their performance is about to hit it right now. And for any of you folks that happen to be in the house the night that this Castaneda performance, this live stream happened, and you had family or you had friends that didn't make it in, and they're cast native, you need to tell them, hey, this is what you missed. Get on there, text them, call them, Facebook message me, like, tune in right now, man. This, Castaneda, this live stream performance that was crazy off the hook is about to drop. Um, so, but anyway, that was Eddie Hernandez, Curtis Lee, Jacob Gonzalez, uh, little acoustic set for ADH Project, little bitty piece of the band. Um, and I, as I understand it, Jacob just kind of dropped in i mean he I, I, he was obviously invited but the stranger comes from the back of the house with his own guitar and slides up right next to Eddie hernandez and just starts killing it it was an epic night epic performance um and just thrilled to death of that check this out hello what's happening my brother chris castaneda how are you doing sir Doing great, man. Doing good, man. I'm having a blast watching the shows, man. Well, man, thank you very much. You know what? If you're having a blast watching those other, wait till this next performance comes up. It's, you, I don't know how you feel about watching yourself or hearing yourself, but this is one of those things where you sit back with Yvonne and you watch this, and you're going to have a great time because when you guys did this man. live stream, it was amazing. Yeah. It was so phenomenal. So now you get to sit back and watch yourself have fun. I, I envy you, sir. Yeah. Uh, how's everything going for you? <laughs> man, every, everything's going good. Everything's going good, man. Y'all you know, hanging down there, uh, hunkered yeah. down in Houston, correct? Yeah, I'm in Houston right now. But, man, everything's going good, man. Good. Just hanging in there. It's, uh, you know, it's tough for everybody, man. But, man, I, I like everybody's positive spin on it. It's It's... Definitely changed the outlook of the world with, uh, you know, musicians like yourself because uh, Castaneda did a live stream about a week and a half ago or so. Y'all did in a gorgeous setup studio. Uh, Y'all did a live stream, right? Yeah, yeah, man. At Cloudbreak uh, Creative, man. That's, awesome, okay. Man. That was, it uh, was yeah, a great, a I watched show. the whole thing and I, I loved like it. everybody doing that stuff, man. I think it helps to keep everybody's spirits up at home, you know? Yeah, and, and that's part of why we decided, look, here at Three Beers and a Whiskey, we've done these shows. We've been doing this since 2018 and have these bands come on and we do the interview and then we have this live stream performance. And I'm watching all these yeah. bands do this and I went, man, we've got all of this this archive footage of these bands doing live streams and having a great time yeah. doing it. Let me share it with the yeah. world. And so uh, kind of happy that, yeah. that you guys agreed to do it and even happier that I can reshare it again with people. 
Oh, man, for sure, man. I'm glad y'all are doing this. It's, you know, y'all are kind of ahead of the game. You, you got tons of uh, content already. You got tons of footage, man. <laughs> yeah. Awesome stuff there, too, man. Day one looks like it might be, you know, a success as far as lots of people watching and coming in and out and making comments and, and stuff like that. I uh, really want to make sure that uh, people do um, enjoy themselves let the, let this be a break from what's happening in the world right now, and just enjoy the moment um, and watch something fun. But also, you know, it's important for me that I'm sharing this with everybody out there, and I want people like if you really like what you're watching, you're not paying the cover charge at the club, you're not paying a bar tab. Um, you know, if you've got the means or the capability to just go on to the the band's Venmo page or Cash App or PayPal. You know, even a couple of bucks is going to make a difference to you guys. I know that because you're missing out on some uh, some money out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. You know, it's tough for all the, you know, full-time working musicians. But, yeah, every little bit helps, man, you know. And I think at this time, everybody needs a little help. So yeah. I think, if you know, if a song helps you out, and like you said, you know, you're in the right place for it, man, that definitely took these musicians, man. So is this a time, this break away from doing the shows all the time? Because you're one of those hardworking bands out there that you guys are playing constantly. Um, if you're not playing at the bars and clubs in Houston, in Austin, Waco, um, you're at a house party, you're doing private gig constantly. So with this break, anything new going to be coming down the pipe from Castaneda? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Well, we actually are hopping into the studio next month. I know a lot of musicians have been writing while they've been uh, locked down. Um, but, man, I'm I'm excited about it. You know, it gave me a little time to just focus on that. You know, you always got to put a creative spin on it, I think, as an artist. And uh, hop back into 512 Studios in Austin. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> with, uh, with Omar, Omar Vallejo. With your boy Omar. <laughs> yeah, man. That's that'll yeah, be man, exciting. Uh, yeah, man, we'll, we'll be about a month, man. So we're excited about that. Good, good, man. Um, so uh, I, when your video starts here in a second, I'm gonna uh, get your video to start up, and uh, I've got built man, into kinda, your video kinda, your um, afraid, your Cash App, your PayPal, your Venmo. So it'll actually, as uh -huh. everybody's watching, when they're watching your performance, it'll actually appear on the lower part of the screen. So. Um, we had to build your video a little bit different than the previous two guys. Um, just it's just the way it worked out. Um, but uh, right. you know, what about they can go to castanetamusic.com. What's the web page for you guys? Uh, Chris That's there the website. Go. For there it. you go. Merchandise over there and all that good stuff. Yeah, we got links to everything, man. Everything you want. Wonderful, wonderful. And if it's all right with you, I'm going to drop some info on these people that it's a very small, private crowd that's watching right now. Um, but the the amazing thing that last night I got an email from you. And uh, so three beers and a whiskey as far as our actual show that we do. When we come back and our start do our interviews again um, and doing the live streams like we were pr prior to all of this, uh, Three Beers and Whiskey is going to have some new music uh, that would be part of our intro and our outro, and uh, I believe it was written and uh, produced by Mr. Chris Castaneda, correct? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. It's a, it's, yeah, I sent that to you last night. <laughs> it, it's, it's a short little piece, folks. It's not anything like – it is amazing, and you know, as a, as a composer, I'll tell you what, this guy, he, he knew – he wrote it. It's just – you're great, man. Not just at singing wow, and the guitar, your musicianship, but you know, you, you to do something like that. That was awesome. Uh, we greatly appreciate oh, it, man. and I look forward to being able to share that with the world. Um, so, you got any uh, any parting words you want to shout out to everybody out here and tell the world about before I, I drop your video on here? Yeah, man. I want to shout out to you, man, and shout out to Three Beers and the Whiskey, man, for what you're doing, man. This is awesome. I had a great time watching. Um, it was my pleasure uh, making that little piece of music for you, man. I, you know, I'm glad it worked out. And, man, shout out to everybody and still supporting live music any way you can. You know, that's that's awesome. Uh, man, everything is all good. Everybody keep your head up. Put a, put a positive spin on whatever's going on, you know, in your life and uh, listen right. to more music. That's right. Look up. <laughs> 
Maybe have three. Maybe have three beers in the whiskey while you're doing it. You know. I'm, hey man, I'm working on beer number two. Three's about to come down. Whiskey will be somewhere towards the end of your show. Um, but uh, you don't know I'm what's coming up on this. this show, man. I'm almost afraid to watch this. <laughs> it's uh, you're gonna love it. I know you don't know how I edited this, but uh, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna enjoy this. And everybody else that's tuning in right now. Y'all about to be blown yeah. away. Chris, thank you very much for calling in. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're and, welcome. Uh, and, Shout out uh, to Joe James, man. AD Curtis, man. Them guys killed it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I saw the love. I saw the love on the screen. So, yeah, they did. It was amazing. Um, but, uh, you know, with, without any uh, anything further, I'm going to let you go. And now let me go ahead and transition this over here. I'm ready to go. I'm waiting for you guys. All right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin. The after the interview with uh, Three Beers and Whiskey, we have Castaneda.
Ladies and gentlemen, people of Austin and people of the world, let me get the hat back on here. Um, thank y'all very much for tuning in. Uh, I mean, is there a better way to end day one of three beers and a whiskey virtual fest? Uh, nope. So uh, thank y'all very much for tuning in and watching. Uh, thank you very much to Joe James for coming in and sitting down with us and, uh, and then letting us redo this. Eddie Hernandez, Curtis Lee, Jacob Gonzalez, uh, ADH, uh, Acoustic. That was beautiful. It was so fun um, and great watching. And then, of course, Castaneda, man. Raul, Bryce, Chris, uh, you guys did exactly what you always do you killed it you knocked it out of the park um I, i'm super happy to have been able to put this together um i really want to continue this oh i'm sorry i've had two beers whiskey third beer we got to keep it real um so, uh, thank y'all very much for tuning in and watching. Appreciate everybody that's come in. Uh, for those of you that are going to catch this on the backside or on a replay, I'm not going to leave this up forever. So, if you know somebody that wasn't here and you want them to enjoy this, you better tell them, hey, man, y'all better get up and check this live stream out. Um, if you like what you saw, go back. Make sure you donate to the guys, man. Uh, uh, give a little love to Joe James. His Venmo and PayPal was on there. Give a little love to uh, Adi Hernandez, uh, his, Venmo, his Venmo and uh, Cash App. And then, of course, ending the night there was uh, Chris Castaneda or, or the band Castaneda. And uh, had all of their stuff. Throughout the video, you saw their stuff popping in. Um, yes, Three Beers and a Whiskey does have a Venmo. You can look us up at Three Beers and a Whiskey. Um, but we really were doing this for, for our love of Austin music, trying to keep you guys out there entertained while you're on lockdown because of everything that's happening, um, and also be able to give back to the musicians. Um, so 
uh, I don't know if there's, yeah, there's really not much more to say on top of uh, what we just witnessed. So thank y'all very much. Um, you know, got my two beers, my whiskey. I'm drinking my third beer now. Um, got some Joe James CDs that we were giving out at the beginning. Y'all catching this now. Go back and watch it. Figure it out. And uh, and I'll go back and, and check the live stream and see who's actually going to be getting some of this free merch from, from Joe James. Um, so anyway, man, I don't know if there's much more to say, but thank y'all very much. Uh, oh, there is something important to say. Tita, go come here. Oh, she don't want to get on camera. I do want a big, huge thank you and shout out to Marissa Cruz Tompkins, uh, Mrs. Tom Cruise Studios. Uh, ultimately, this whole thing boils down to not her letting me get crazy and stupid and invite people into the house and do these three beers and a whiskey interviews um, where she so graciously does the bar and works the internet and creates the food. But three beers and a whiskey virtual fest this was her brainchild. This is she. She kind of said, "Hey, what can we do?" Um, and and in all the conversations and kicking it around, uh, this was born from an idea out of Marissa Cruz Tompkins. So thank you, Marissa. Uh, love you. Uh, appreciate you putting up with this. And everybody else out there, man, thank y'all very much for tuning in. I'm done yapping. Y'all enjoy the rest of the evening. I know it's a Thursday night, and uh, oh hell, man, it ain't even nine o'clock yet. I'm going to drink the rest of my beer, eat some barbecue. Love y'all. We'll see y'all probably next week for another uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey Virtual Fest Day 2. I'm going to start working on that tomorrow.